Just a quick little extension video based on what we've learned about the kidney already and its role in helping us to conserve water and help to rid our bodies of urea. So it turns out that depending on the type of habitat that you live in, in terms of organisms compared to us as humans, you have an ability to really make your urine super concentrated. So you've all woken up with, you know, uh, a long night of sleep and you wake up and you try to go to the bathroom and your urine is a little bit more yellow than usual. You've also experienced this after working out or going for a long run or sweating a lot basically. There's one trip I went to Thailand. I'm pretty sure I didn't pee for three days straight and I was drinking a lot of water the entire time as well too. My body just was sweating nonstop because we were doing all kinds of work on a particular house so that was a very interesting thing for me. The maximum solute concentration of urine or how concentrated your urine is with the solutes that are dissolved in there varies between species. The three examples that we're asked to try to understand are humans versus beavers. They've given an example of a, of a step lemming as well too. You can see how the structure of the kidney actually varies. It's a pretty easy thing to remember. If you don't know what these structures are, then you haven't actually studied what a kidney is. You need to go back and do that. But the general structure of a kidney has a cortex, an outer layer type here, a medulla. These are general terms that are used in many different um, organs, basically. So don't just think that the cortex is only found inside the kidney. But for this general structure, you have the cortex on the outside, the medulla. These things called nephrons, which are the functional units of the kidney, each kidney has million, uh, around a million of these things, um, is kind of what we're going to use to be able to compare these different organisms. So it turns out the longer the nephrons are, in terms of how far they reach into the medulla or the, the thicker that this medulla section layer becomes, the more concentrated you can make your urine. So we were interested, I think scientists were interested in how certain types of animals that lived in the desert can basically conserve tons of water and then that led us to start looking at uh, what's so special about kidneys. So the physiology of mammalian kidneys was kind of uh, discovered because people became interested in how animals that were out in the desert seem to be able to survive on so little water. So here's what we basically just said. The thicker the medulla, the longer the loops of onlay. These are these little trombone parts that loop down in here. That's part of the, the nephron functional unit of the kidney. Uh, more water can actually be retained. So a quick little table to help you to compare these things, the beaver versus the human versus the kangaroo rat. Uh, CF stands for the concentration factor of urine, so how concentrated it can be. So ours can go up to about times four which is a relative uh, measurement compared to a beaver. So about double the concentration of what a beaver could do. And a kangaroo rat can go up to 18 times the concentration. So can you imagine waking up with 18 times more concentrated urine? Uh, it wouldn't be a pretty sight and probably not a pretty smell. But it would be pretty awesome because you'd be able to survive a lot longer with very little water basically so you can see how there's a correlation between how concentrated your urine can actually get and the type of habitat that you're living in so a little bit of kind of evolutionary history your environment puts selective pressures on you and then those that have developed the ability to make more concentrated urine are more likely to survive in places where water is very scarce so another way to measure it is in terms of milliosmoles per liter that's what the msc stands for here the maximum solute concentration so you can get it to you know almost like four times a little more than four times as salty as humans if you're a kangaroo rat so next time you wake up with really concentrated urine, uh, be thankful for what your body can do and don't hang out in the desert too much.